Hello and welcome to the third video of SAP UI 5 demos. In the previous demo, I showed you how to navigate from one page to another page using the routing feature. And in this demo, we are going to pass a variable from uh, one page to another page and we'll see how to bind that variable with a UI element uh, so that it gets changed automatically. Um, so that's all about it. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I'm using the same demo and I'm going to change some areas of this uh, to pass the data from one view to another view. So let's open up page one.view.js and in this view we are going to add uh, two more elements. Uh, it is going to have an input box and it is going to have a submit button uh, and when we click on the submit button it should go to page two and it should display what we had entered in the input box. So Let's rename this text as enter secret word and this secret word we are going to type in an input box or o input new sap dot ui dot comments dot text field and inside this text field we are going to have a default value let's say uh, the secret uh, word is magic right and now we are going to create a button is equal to new sap dot ui dot commons dot button and in this button we are going to have a text we'll name it as submit right now let's see what it shows but before we try to execute it we have to combine all these elements into an array and we have to return that array. So we are going to write for element is an array and we are going to pass o text and o input and o button. Now if we refresh this page Uh, we didn't get O input SAP UI commons text field. Yeah, that's all correct here. We are going to pass the element, not the text. So let's refresh this page. Right, there we go. So now when we click on this submit button, we need to know what word was entered into this text field so that we can get that word put it into a model navigate to page 2 and get the data from the model so in order to do that we need to we need to maintain an identifier for this particular input box so to make that identifier we're going to write this dot create id and we are going to make it as this is our secret id so now if you refresh this page And there you see this is our secret ID and this is something from the view which is already gets prepended uh, in the ID so now we are all done with this but we still need to add the actions so we are going to write on press which means like on click we are going to execute a function but we are going to write this function inside our controller we are going to name it as navigate to page 2 and we are going to give the name of our view which is page 2 so let's go ahead and create this method inside our page 1 controller this is our function it is going to accept view we are we are passing this view from page 2 which is uh, sorry from page 1 which is page 2 this we are passing we are getting the data over here and now we are going to set this data inside a model now before i get into model i uh, if you're not aware of object and arrays uh, there's a quick snippet of how to understand both of them so when we say object it is going to be a curly braces and if you want to add data into this object you can write f name is equal to john and object dot l name is equal to 
div and let's echo this object and if I click on run that's the object and it already has uh, a key value pair kind of a thing so if I want to access the object now I can just write object dot f name and it is going to give me John right that is about object and if you want to create array then arrays are denoted by uh, square brackets and you can write John and you can write Dave so this is all array and if you want to get the first name out of it you can write object beneath the first element this is basically the key which is 0 and 1 and when I click on run it gives me John right so that was about uh, objects and arrays now in this case we are going to need a JSON array because we are going to use a JSON model so we are going to define the model over here uh, we define the model in on init method because this is going to execute only once and it is going to create the model so every time we we hit submit button we are not going to create the model over and over again so we create it once so we write this my model is equal to new scp.ui dot model dot json dot it is going to be a json model and that's it and we use this over here because we would like to access this model from other methods so like from here we are going to access this so we name it as this but if i name it as var we cannot access this variable this is local within this scope and it is not global so to make a variable global within the controller we use the word this dot dot my model now I can access this model from here so before we access the model we'll keep the data ready so var json now this is going to be a json model so we are going to pass json data so json is nothing but an object and we are going to pass our secret word this can be anything my secret you can type my secret and now we are going to get the data from our input ID which is here right this is our identifier so I'll just copy and keep it ready and here it is going to be sap.ui.getCore.by ID now we write this ID and we are going to get the value of this right so if there is any element and you want to get the value this is what you need to type SAP UI dot get core by ID so that's why all IDs should be unique get value so let's quickly see if we are getting the value or not so I'm going to type console.log JSON dot my secret and let's see what we get okay so when I submit, I'm getting magic. If I write hello, submit, it gives me hello. So we are correctly getting the value of our input box inside this method. And now we are going to uh, set this data into our model. So this dot, uh, what is that? This dot my model this dot my model dot set data json right so our model is set but this model is set within this controller we need to set this model globally so that when we go to page 2 we should be able to access that model to do that we are going to set this model into inside our code so sap dot ui dot get core dot set model and we are going to set this dot my model so now we have set this model inside our core library and because it's inside the core we can get the model from uh, page 2 so once the data is set now we need to redirect it to the next page to do that we are going to get the instance of our router 
and to get the instance of the router we need to type sap ui dot core dot routing dot router dot get router and this is going to be app router so we have already registered this router if you remember in the in the second demo uh, we have already registered the router so we are going to get this router and place it here this is going to be this is going to get the instance of that router and now we need to get the instance of the hash changer so we already have created the hash changer a new instance of that so we are going to get the instance of this so let's copy from here and paste it over here but we don't need new because we're not going to create a new instance we are going to just get uh, the instance of this so get instance like that and so we have our hash changer now our hash changer is going to set the URL it's going to change the URL so hash changer dot set hash and we are going to write o router dot get URL and here we need to pass our view which we are getting from here right so this view we are passing it from page one if you remember this and we are going to get here page two and it's going to append page two over here so we get into page two and now inside our page two we are going to bind that data with our text view so how you can bind it is already set inside our model which is inside the core and so you can just take this word or whatever you have placed here copy that word and put it inside curly braces like this so this is going to bind the data with this text view now if you go ahead and refresh this page and if we click on submit we go to the next page and it shows submit and if we write here secret word we click on submit we get secret word so that's the way to pass data from one view to another view i hope you uh, understood everything and if there is any confusion or if you have any points please uh, write a comment below uh, thanks for watching